Now, and I'm an advocate and an investigator with the Police Complaint Center. And Tim Bowman is a client, and we're trying to get him some help. I know that you guys are trying to do your jobs, and I don't want to make it any more difficult um, than it has been with Tim already. But I want to try to get him informed on what he can and can't do so that he can follow the rules accordingly uh, that are consistent with your, your protocol in the facility. And I don't know what rule he broke today, but maybe we can give him some information that will help him stay within the rules. So, well, first of all, I'm a retired police detective, and I'm a private investigator, and I'm affiliated with policeabuse.com, which is where Tim's case started. When the uh, police came out to his house to assist uh, Patricia's family, there were some things that happened that were not according to protocol, which is why Tim contacted me. Now, I'm a retired detective sergeant, so I know what the police are supposed to do. That has nothing to do with your facility, but there were some mistakes made, and the police are currently doing an internal affairs investigation, and I'm helping him with that. But I'm also helping him with this matter because he has some difficulty sometimes expressing himself, and, uh, and I want to make sure that he's not creating a problem that he doesn't need to create down there. What are you what are you trying to say? What are you asking me? Am I am I am I a physician? Am I am I a psychiatrist? I mean, you have those skill sets based on your your. Well, I I would say I have sufficient skills in dealing with people. Yes. So we, sure, sure. So then you recognize immediately that Mr. Bowman has issues. Um. I mean, a a, a common. Well, I very yes, obvious I, to see someone that walks around in a uh, not matching sport coat and slacks t-shirt with holes in it and has B.O., chances are he, he's, he's probably someone that that may not understand the way things go all the time. Well, I don't think he has body odor, man. I mean, well, I, well, I just was talking to him for 10 minutes here, and he stunk like I haven't. So, I'm well, just, Tim, I'm just, or, or Mr. Kamel, I'm just trying to figure out, understand to what extent you're involved in and actually, to what extent I even should be dealing with you. Well, uh, I, I, okay, it, it, here's, I, what, here's, here's what I was hoping that to... That I'm looking at right now. Okay, let me... You're let me, not let, even on the radar. Let me, first of all, I, I, you, you've probably insulted me like four times unnecessarily. I was trying to make this a very easy, amicable situation where I could help Mr. Bowman uh, follow the rules, and now you're throwing insults, and I have no idea why you're doing that. But believe me, I will address that later. Uh, oh, I, I, okay. It's not. It's not a. It's not a okay situation. Let me. Let me just ask you a question. No, you have no. Hey, what do you? You know. You know what, sir? I'm not here to fight with you. I'm here to try to find out you if Mr. Me if, if, first of all, will you, will you, you for, first of all, send your. Send your I, I will send whatever. You Can I ask you what rule Mr. Bowman violated okay, today? Mr. Kamel, that's private HIPAA confidential information. I'm well, you, mean, you mean on Mr. Bowman, that's private information? To anyone who is... Is, is that private information about Mr. Bowman? In the chart. Okay, so okay. so I'm asking you, did Mr. Bowman violate Are a rule? You, uh, you haven't let me finish. You haven't let me ask any questions. Well, there's, uh, there's no reason for me to be communicating with well, you. Well, Mr. Who Bowman asked me to contact you, and I've done that, and you're, you're being quite rude and very unprofessional, and it's unnecessary. Uh, and, and toward what end? Well, first of all, you know, you, you got such, you got such an, you got such an attitude. I don't know why you're behaving this way. I call you up. I tell you that Mr. Bowman came to the facility, that I'm a private investigator, that I work for him, and right away you start with the train of insults. Why, why would you do that? Why would you follow and help a guy in his situation? He was legally removed as custodian of the woman he lives with. Why would I help a guy in his situation? What is that? What, what do you mean by that? Why don't that? you help him get into some mental health help? Why don't you help him work within the mental health system or somewhere what? where he can get help and, and, and flourish, so to speak? Well, frankly, we are trying to get him some help, and, and we're working on getting him in a position where he can meet with Pat without any incident, Control. At this cont point in time to, uh, do, do you normally interrupt people every time they start talking? I wasn't finished halfway with my sentence, and there you start talking well, again. I, well, obviously, then I don't acknowledge what it is you're trying to. No, do. obviously you're unprofessional. That that's well, not the way to okay. talk to people when they're trying to 
explain something. You have that. Yeah, I have what? I have what? I'm unprofessional. Now what? <laughs> I, I'm going to finish what I have to say. But you know what? I'm not getting anywhere with you, and you've done right. quite a bit to, to illustrate how you operate and that you are unprofessional and rude. Okay. And, and those matters will be addressed with the health board. I don't need to play games with you. So okay. you're fine. You do what you do, and I'll just go do, talk to Mr. Bowman and explain what kind of reaction I got when I tried to speak with you professionally. That's because you, you, have made an impression, you have made an impression on me. I will share this with anyone. That's fine. You'd be glad to share it because I'm going to make sure that I do.